This prosecution was the result of a highly successful joint operation between the New South Wales Police Force, the Australian Federal Police, ASIO, that was supported by other jurisdictions and agencies, including the Commonwealth Director of Public Prosecutions. The joint counter-terrorism operation on the 8th of November 2005 was a result of an 18-month investigation that involved more than 400 New South Wales police officers and 155 AFP officers executing search warrants across the Sydney metropolitan area in a series of dawn raids in which nine men were arrested. The operation still remains one of the largest deployments of police for an operation of this magnitude and is a testament to the capability of the New South Wales Police and the Australian Federal Police. Today's guilty verdicts, combined with the earlier guilty pleas entered by the four co-accused, show that law enforcement and intelligence agencies are continuing to work together effectively to prevent and prosecute terrorism offences. As we know, terrorism has a global reach, and I can assure the public that the Australian Federal Police and the New South Wales Police continue to work tirelessly, tirelessly with the other state and territories in Australia, along with intelligence agencies and our overseas partners, to detect potential threats and to ensure that Australia remains one of the safest countries in the world. Complacency is a terrorist's best friend. And so we've asked for communities to work with us. This particular matter first came to our attention through a call to the National Security Hotline many, many years ago, back in 2004. And so um, my message today remains the same. Uh, what you see, what you hear, what you know, let us know. You know if you see it, tell us. And, uh, and I, I think today uh, bears testimony to the importance of uh, the National Security Hotline and the fact that we continue to work with communities.